Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome to Guard Duty, courtesy of Ratalika Games. Huge thanks to them for a copy of the game. Okay, this is a comedic slash satire point and click adventure game, and it's great. Alright, let's go. New game. Throw us right into it. Oh wow, my, my TV is only at 20. There we go. Thought it sounded a bit quiet. Compared to normal. 2074. Initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. 10. Where will the suffering end? Oh. This world. Who's wants a land rich with love and harmony? You rarely burnish that. Seven. Go to hell. Huh? You know, six. I'd rather not go back. Five. This is far too much fun. Oh dear. But as you can probably guess, uh, this will be a game where there's very little commentary, probably. Because every bit of dialogue is voiced in the game, and I'd rather not interrupt them. But we'll see. A thousand years earlier, the Kingdom of Wrinklewood. Hmm? <laughs> well, he's been on the sauce. Well, look at him. of heritage, royal blood, I presume. Just about as royal as they get. Oh, you're giving away too much. Look, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, right, you have my manners. Uh, no, 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 no problems, sir. Uh, let me get the gate. You <laughs> no, I'm shit first. Yep, yeah, probably shouldn't do that. He's a cloaked fellow. He looks rather suspicious to be quite honest. The morning after... Oh, there we are. We made it. Oi, Tom Burt! Get your ass to the front room! Pronto! Oh, how much did I drink last night? Too much. It feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. I wonder what the king wants with me. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Use move button to move combat. Examine button will examine your surroundings. Press use button of an, on an item of interest to make combat interact. There we go, so our cursor's a dagger. Or sword. They've been there for weeks. I hate to disturb them now. What are they? Oh, briefs. I thought it said bed. Hey, Dr. Jones, no time for love. Oh my god. Glass tumbler. I'll leave it where it is. I just want to interact with everything, especially with games like this. What was that? One something? Yeah, I think I've read that enough. I'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. I'll leave it where it is. You could just leave in everything then. All right. What about the candle? Well, you can't reach it from down here. We'll try. Besides, I've got a day or two before it needs replacing. What about a dart? I'll just take one. Wouldn't want to be greedy. There we go. Anything Tom but pricks up, P pricks up. Picks up is added to his personal inventory, the Infinity Pouch. You can access Tonbert's inventory with the pouch icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Aha, yes! You can t certainly tell it's an Infinity Pouch. What with the Infinity clean them up yet. symbol. I'm saving up to build a pyramid. <laughs> God. What about the rusty etch? I should probably get dressed before we leave. Oh, yeah. My arm is in the wardrobe. I can see his crack. Not really something I wanted to see, but. 
wobble squats. It's just out of my reach. <laughs> wobble squats. Turn back. There we go. Interact with the water orb. Hold on. There's nothing in here. <gasps> Someone's nicked my uniform. Oh no. There's a tie. No, oh, I just shut it. Okay. What about the rope? Well, that took a while to get into the pouch. Ah, oh, now it gives us another tutorial. Tombot's infinity pouch makes carrying items easy. Anything Tom Tombot picks up will be stored in here. You're carrying five items. Press examine button on an item to examine it. Or use button to use it. So if I do that... Okay, we examined his to-do list. There's a bugger all on it. Kinda wish there was a button that just allowed us quick access to that, but One whatever. Quid. A quid? It's a dart. Sharp and pointy. What about the rope? Seems strong enough. Pencil. Here's my pencil. Great for writing stuff down. Never would have guessed. All right, well let's leave then. Someone's locked me in. Oh great. That doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. <gasps> How the hell am I gonna get out of here now? Well, we just so happen to have a very convenient hole in the wall or roof. Tombert has made a note of that. Open the infinity pouch and press examine button on the to-do list to check your current goal. Okay. Find a way into the ca castle. Where is my uniform? <laughs> he spells is with a Z. I can't just climb down the side of the spire. I mean, maybe if I had a rope or something. Ah! You can access Tombot's inventory with the pouch icon on the top right. Okay, how many times is it going to tell me that? Rope. Use. I think I'd be better off if I tied it to something first. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, he's doing it on his own. Oh, perfect. How long is this rope? Long enough, nicely. I guess. Just don't tell Elf and Safety. Oh, it'll be our little secret. <laughs> right, down we go. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, great, we have subtitles. <laughs> I just want to examine everything, although he can't talk, so maybe I shouldn't. Garden bench. Wait, is that a helmet? That's my helmet! Ah, oh, you little bitch! Alright, so the bird nicked me helmet. Yeah, not much I can do with that. Well, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> with a very swollen face. Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> you can just make out what he's saying too. Oh okay. Oh yeah, we're not getting back to our house. <laughs> uh, try to understand him is impossible. Alright, let's just go. Who are you? Bub. Off. Okay. King Barrington. Oh, he's talking about the infinity pouch. <laughs> hey, Knuckles, look who the cat dragged in. Who's this? A complete stranger? In the castle of all places? Filthy street urchin larking about in the castle. <laughs> Pond dirt. Dong squirt. <laughs> Never heard of him. Dusty? Please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. Great. He's making the place stink of booze. What the hell are you? Say this, Shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. I'm sorry, tiny man. What the hell are you meant to be? Oh dear. My face doesn't look that swollen. No, never mind. Well, there's a boot. Wannabe boots. Yeah, you got a boot! Oh, we can actually understand him. <laughs> oh, they actually redid the lines. That's the best. 
I can't examine any of the flowers. What about these two? Irvin and Hobbs. Or oh, Hobbs and Irvin. And where do you think you're going? Oh boy. Yeah, bugger off, big ears. Big ears? You know, like an elephant. And why are you comparing this poor little lad <laughs> to an elephant? Looks like the elephant man, doesn't he? I'm not sure I follow. Ha! Alright, bugger off, bubble face. Yeah, be it blubber mouth. <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to listen to you. Johnny sounds hilarious. What dicks? Bubble face. Uh, what if I go to the gate? Is there anything here? There's a chest. Oh dear God of all that is pretty! What's happened to you? Bees. Oh, right. Yeah, I cannot understand him. To break into you. You're not making any sense. Go on then. What was it? Hornets. Nettles. Working girl. Bees. Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. You know, a pinch of medusa roots or sort that. Might even have some down at the market. Hmm. Look, do you need me to write it down for you? Yes, please. I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give me something to write on, and I'll draw you a picture. <sighs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. You'll know exactly what you mean. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Hooray! We got a new note. Ah, Medusa Root. Priority. Fix my face. So what if I do, like, can I go in the chest? Hands off. I guess that means no. That's not for you. Fine. God. I just wanted to see. Right, mark it. Hey, you! Mm -hmm. Yeah, you! Come here! Let me take a look at you. <laughs> Hello, handsome. What? Oh boy. <laughs> Not before you give out Gertie a kiss. She understood us. Oh god, do we have to? <laughs> it seems Gertrude has torn bits trousers. She's not giving up easily and demands a kiss for their safe return. Tombert refuses to deliver the kiss himself, but maybe we can find a substitute. I'm waiting, lover boy. Wait, what? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so what's this there? Get my tr oh, trousers back from Gertrude. Okay, so I need the Medusa root. Oh, my boot! Another one of you, me boots. Alright, there's that. What's this say? We have a gardener. Okay, see, I'm busy, kid. Okay. That's a sensing. Hmm? Please, sir. Spare me a penny. Sure, I have a penny. Here you go. Have a gold coin. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Whoa there, Echo Man. That's far enough. Don't mind him. His bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got a coin, you better start walking. Hmm. Still a 
open, we never close. Yay. <laughs> Here at Fruit Patel, we pride ourselves on providing the finest range in fresh fruit, exotic spices, and herbal remedies from across the lands. Nowhere else will you find such rarities as the Argonian bouncing vine fruit, staunch more virgin rose root, or even the highly sought after stale valley beef fruit. Although our reputation lies in selling the finest quality imports, we also offer a value range, catering to our lesser fortunate customers. Often misshapen, soured, or slightly fungal, our value range of fruit and spices offer the same medical benefits of fresh goods, only with the occasional bouts of vomit. Yeah, nice. <laughs> About this value range, I need some reduce a root. I've got to admit, you're kind of adorable. <laughs> I imagine your half is fun normally. Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure looks like it. So, value range. How much are we talking? How much vomit? Right, value for money. Plenty we had of fruit for sale. Okay. We accept no liability for our customers' safety when shopping in the value range. Of Always course. Always chew responsibly and never swallow. I cannot stress that enough. Poor Jimmy. Little lad never listened. <laughs> You still here? Yeah. What else can I look? I can look in the fountain. Of course, there'll be a coin in here. Oh, there actually was a coin in there. He put his hand out again. Go away. You're not getting this coin. Get going, get going. Going. Can I use this to buy a fruit? So we've already read that. I've got some coin now. <laughs> oh, ain't that cute? The lad's a bit slow. I think he's got something wrong with his face. Oh, right, you think? I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Ah, oh, gross. Right, you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? <laughs> Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. One of the furry ones. What do I look like? A bloody charity? Poor lad could do with a break. <laughs> <laughs> Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an honest fruit vendor, and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation. I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you, but choose wisely. For while the right fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. There you go. And here's the coin. What did I get? Tombot's acquired an item that needs further interaction. Open Tombot's inventory and press examine button on the item to inspect it. Ooh, a uh, fruit. <laughs> it's also a fairy. And a net. <laughs> oh, fruit. <laughs> What's in here? Completely useless trinkets. That's about right. How do you do? Sensical mumble as a no. I'm afraid we're all out of the boil remedy. <laughs> Could I tempt you with a rather large hat? <laughs> it comes with a dash and pink bow. <laughs> I'll give it to you for just 30 coins. <laughs> Quite a steal, ain't it? <laughs> God, it's so hard to understand him. Jesus. Oh yeah, I never showed them my uh, my note. My to-do list with the fruit stall. Ah, so after some Medusa root, I see. Gun cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. Ten gold coins. Don't look like he's got the coin, boss. Hey, that's tough luck, kid. Maybe a good old fashioned potato will do the trick. Yeah, okay. That'll cure me first. Where else can I go? 
Let's go trade enemy greaves. I don't want to deal with those. Right, I guess we'll leave. Something to do with G Gertrude. What's this? So we have castle. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, there's a hat. That's far enough, mate. This here is a secure crime scene. No one has to be getting in or out. Go on, be off with you. Aw, well look at the hat. What's that? We can look at the tip. Unfortunately. What about the chair? Guitar. Unfortunately not. Don't wait. Alright, I guess we'll leave. Nothing here. Who was the other place? What was this? Oh, it's a blacksmith. No. Oh. Weapon rack. Oi, keep your wee little hands off. You don't need your hands to look. <laughs> I mean, that's true. But they look so shiny. Furnace. Bellows. Wait, can I interact with this? Keep your grubby hands off. That furnace is operating at a finely tuned temperature. I don't need pesky halflings messing it up. Halfling? I mean, I do look pretty tiny. Time for chit chat. Stop bothering me. Be off with you. Fine. I just wanted to, you know, look at the swords because they're so shiny. All right, let's go to the field, I guess. Oh, there's a frog. Feed her. Woof. Chicken. Oh, I can lick river water. No, I just want to look at it. And then you can say, you know, something witty and funny. Oh, he's getting away from me. Bugger. So definite, I can probably get the frog. It's not a big old bridge. I wonder if I No, I don't want to do that. Oh, wait, I have a net. I could maybe catch it with the net. Maybe. Although if I'm to do that, I would have to do... Uh, this? And the bridge. Use net with bridge. There we go. Where Did I even catch him? Oh, he left. Well, have to leave, come back, and then set it up again. Oh, no. And then make him jump into the river. It's fine, I think, maybe. Come on, Froggy. Do it. Ha ha ha! Perfect. We have a frog. Oh, the poor thing. Ew, God, look at him. Yeah, no kidding. And a net. Clearly I must need the net for something. Alright, let's leave. So back to the market and get the frog to kiss Gertrude, I guess. Lovely. Oh, can I do... Can I interact with her? Oh god, do I have to see this every time? Yikes. Oh god, what? Okay, I, I accidentally went in here. Okay, whatever. What if I just use the frog with her? Maybe that'll work. Kaboom! Oh, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Looks like he broke his nose. This scene has been removed for your safety. Well, 
Well, I got my trousers back. Oh, nice. Oh, I can clear my face. I don't know how many coins there are, but I'm guessing. 21. 21 whole coins. Alright. It's time to get the Medusa root. I can finally clear my face. So after some Medusa root, I see. Don't cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. Ten gold coin. There we go. Do I use it automatically? No, I guess I have to use it on myself. Medusa root. Use it on Tombit. Ah. I thought I'd be stuck like that forever. That would get old real quick. Me more seriously now. I mean, you're still half naked, so mm, maybe. maybe not. Can I talk to this guy then? Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, right, well, make it quick. I can actually talk to him. <laughs> what are you up to? So, uh, what are you up to? Just turning the soil, ready for planning. Oh, I think it's been turned enough. Oh no, you see, it's got to be real nice and fluffy, like a cloud. A black, thunderous cloud torn against the night sky. Eh, weird. Okay, I like your eye patch. I like your eye patch. Thank you. It's become as much a part of me as the skin on my bones. Do you ever take it off? The world is ready to see the horror forsaken upon me. Oh, right. Please do not pity me. Save your apathy for my brothers. Yeah, okay. Your brothers? The sons of Liberty. Liberty was my mother, a kind woman with a heart of gold. We owed and left to care for triplets. Eli, George and I, David. Despite our differences, my brothers and I worked hard to make a name for ourselves. Before long, our agricultural activities had earned up quite a desirable reputation. We clipped shrubs for the King and Queen of Westbridge, cultivated fruit for the Duke of Davener, and of course, tended the floor at the Castle Ringwood. That's where I live. I, a place I have not step foot in for 20 years. Wow, that is a long time. So, why did you stop working at the castle? It's dangerous work being a groundsman. You never know what might be lurking behind a begonia. Ain't that the truth? We were young and careless. We had no idea such slurry beasts lurked behind those walls. I still remember the look in their eyes. As the scaled beast whipped its twisted toils around their necks. And just like that, the Sons of Liberty were no more. Oh dear. That's so sad. I will never forget that morning. So, why the eye patch? Oh, Oh, right, um, one of the snakes bit me. <laughs> ah, of course. Yep. I thought that was obvious. Hmm, maybe I need to work on the delivery. Well, I'll be seeing you. Right, you are. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. So, I need to go back here. Well, I'll be damned. Tomba! Hello! Oh, that's more like it. Can't believe I didn't recognize you, Paul. How'd you mess up your face all like that? Ugh, I've had the worst day, Barrack. Need somebody's ear to bend? I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful birthday shift, I thought it rude but not sample a few of the drunken monks' finer beverages. Wise. This led deep into the night until dawn, for when I thought it appropriate to retreat into my dorm at the castle spire. Unfortunately, it became apparent this morning that I was missing a few things, hence my appearance. Oh? Wow, that's a mighty unlucky turn of events, son. You don't say. You're telling me. On the plus side, though, things can't get much worse. In fact, I've got something that'll make them half inch better. Have a look in the chest. Keys hidden in the usual place. Usual place. Ah, yes, up here. Behind the stall? Nope. The sign. So big, I don't know where I'd put it. Oh, the usual place is under the sign. Ah, yes, very Should secure. Somewhere. Bingo. That was easy. The apathy dress. Was it apathy? It was something. Aha, so that's where it was. Kept it safe for you, Tondi. Wait, what was it called? It's the something to Amnesty. It's fucking apathy. I'm dumb. There we go, I can get dressed. Hooray! It's a little crowded here. Oh. I'd rather get changed somewhere more private. Oh, okay. Back to the field, I guess. I suppose the animals won't mind. Alright, now we can get dressed. What if I just try it with a boot? Will that work? If you'll excuse me. Oh, there we go. There we look much better. We actually look the part of a guard now. 
and not some homeless men. Ah, perfect. So now I have that, I can actually go back to the castle. Hello, gents. Let me in. Sorry about earlier, man. No feelings, eh? Gotta admit, you did look kinda of messed up earlier, even for you. Sorry about earlier. Okay. I guess we're just going on in. <laughs> 